And and, and uh, is this your first time fighting bare knuckle? Um, legally, yes. <laughs> legally. <laughs> so, so you always but, fight. Uh, You've done bare I knuckle. I definitely fights. got a. I got a decent amount of bare knuckle boxing fights. <laughs> this, uh, you know, this is the first legal one. Let me tell you something about Andrew. This is my boy right here. You disrespect him, you're disrespecting me. Inside fighting. Shout out to inside fighting. Special guest on the Fight Season podcast here. Thank you for joining us, Nick Killshot Corey. What's good? How's it going? Good. What's cracking, bro? Shit, just uh, getting ready for this BKFC fight on the 29th. Yeah, sick. That, that's a stacked card in Colorado. Yeah, it's the biggest BKFC event that's uh, ever been done. So it should be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got you got Luke Rockhold on there, then you got Chad Mendes. Chad Mendes, Daddy Alvarez. That's a, that's gonna be a tight one. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that's a banger. And, and uh, you got your South uh, Beck Rawlings. Oh, Beck Rawlings, who's she fighting? Uh, Christine Perea. Oh, Okay, well, and then we we got yourself straight out of Stockton. You're you're coming off a big win on UFC Fight Pass. You had a first round knockout. Yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, feeling like I got a little bit of momentum here. You know, definitely four fight four fight streak right now doing this thing and and, and uh is this your first time fighting bare knuckle um legally yes <laughs> legally <laughs> <laughs> so, so you always but, fight uh, you've done bare I knuckle definitely fights. got a i got a decent amount of bare knuckle boxing fights <laughs> this, uh, you know, this is the first legal one so you're not you're not too concerned about it, about banging up your hands or anything i'm not man it's you know it happens in fighting, you know, sometimes you bang up your hands a little bit. Sometimes you don't. It don't matter, you know. You're, you're going to go in there and it's five two-minute rounds, man. I'm going to go in there and throw, do my thing and uh, probably get them out of there in the first three. That's, you know, what I think. Now, now, have you been studying your opponent at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, I have. And what, he's, uh, what are you thinking? He's a... He's, um, a a Russian guy, he uses a lot of wrestling in his fights, but uh, he's pretty active with his hands, southpaw, he throws a decent amount of volume, and uh, he, he's he's pretty solid, you know? Now, now, now you have, a, you have a, a darn good MMA record. You, you train out of Nick Diaz Academy in Stockton. You, you beat, the, you you win this bare-knuckle fight. Where do you see yourself fighting next? Do you want to stay in bare-knuckle, or you, you eventually go back um, to MMA? I, I like uh, to do some more bare knuckle fights. I think uh, doing uh, some more there would be cool. Or uh, one FC Ryzen. Right. I'd like to go out there and right. go out to Japan and Singapore and all that just for the experience. You know, I think the yeah. whole fight culture out there is pretty cool. Yeah, no, I've heard you say that before. You want to fight in you know one championship or or or, or, yeah. ri or risen. Yeah, I, I I need there. I should be there. That's sick. I know. I mean, you're a badass fighter. I would sign you if if I was running uh, one championship for sure. Yeah, Chatri, what's up? Yeah, Matt Chatri. Hume, what's up? Yeah, I, I'm. Hey, listen, spectacular knockout on bare knuckle uh, boxing. I think uh, they'll take notice for sure. Yeah, I mean, thirteen uh, MMA professional wins and twelve of them have been by finishes and. 11 in the first round, you know what I mean? I'm either knocking people out or choking them to sleep pretty pretty good. This guy's like so a Tank like, Davis of MMA. Me, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. you're a knockout machine, kill shot. That's why they call you kill shot. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to you know just let them keep keep winning these, keep stacking these wins up and uh you know right. someone's going to take notice. Now 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 you're saying you might want to stay in bare knuckles. So, do you want a Luke yeah. Rockhold fight? Do you want the winner of Mike Perry Luke Rockhold? I, I I'd fight either of those guys, yeah. Yeah, because that's the same yeah, weight yeah. class as you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I Rockhold. I don't I don't see. I don't know. I don't see him winning the fight. I don't think though. So. Really? You know, I, I feel like uh, I feel like he's technically better at everything. I think he just deteriorated a little bit more than uh, Mike Perry is. Mike Perry's like a knucklehead. You know, he's right. like. He was born with 40 brain cells, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you know he, he, he's, 
he's doing he's doing good for his bare knuckle thing. But yeah, I think either one of those guys would be a fun fight. Well, so so Killshot got Mike Perry over over Rockhold because I got yeah, Rockhold. I got Mike Perry. See, I think Rockhold's better. I I think like. But you think he's older now? Between, you think he, if it was eight years ago, bro, I don't think it would uh, even be a like topic of discussion. But right, right. Yeah, like it would be ridiculous to even match those two up. You know, one weight class apart. Perry's a small welterweight, and right. uh, Rockhold's big. And you're still picking he's Perry, though. But yeah, you're still picking Perry. So yeah, but I mean, he's been like also knocked into the shadow realm. Like what? Three out of his last five. Four right. out of his last five. Right, he's coming he off an he impressive win. Costa, but right, I mean, right. yeah, I think uh, I'm going to go by Perry, second round TKO. KO. Wow, I like that prediction. They're saying Darren Till will get the winner. Actually, supposedly he's going to Darren Till is going to get the winner. Supposedly of that fight, how do you think Darren Till is going to fare in bare knuckle? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't. There, he had something going for a while, and then it seemed like it all fell apart. Like he's on a skid too. Like it. <laughs> he, he, That's he a good back. analysis. That's a good. He analysis. had something going, man. Right? I mean, right. he like he beat Kelvin Gastelum, it, like right. pretty handedly, and uh, he he was doing real good, and then he just like got knocked out by Masvidal, got knocked out by people we don't even know, got not like getting mounted and TKO'd and choked out. All sorts of bad stuff has happened to that guy all of a sudden. So right. it's hard to bounce back, I feel like, when you just got bad thing after bad thing after bad thing after bad thing happened to you. I mean, your confidence can't be that great. Right, well, so you, you get a win. Because I'm pretty confident in you. I, I follow you on Instagram. I see you training. I, I've watched your fights. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident, but, you know, you're going to get the dub uh, in Colorado, April 29th. Um, are you calling out Mike Perry? Is that is that a call out? You, you know, that's attractive for you. It's my yeah, it's my first fight in BKFC. If they want to give me uh, someone cool like that, fuck yeah! I'll I fight, think they you know? would. Why wouldn't they? You know what I mean? Yeah. You're you're a veteran in the game. Yeah, no, I mean I'm definitely down for that. And you know, right. I'm I'm down for any of those big fights. Any big fight, I'm down for. Yeah, hey. I don't I don't think they Wait. got I don't think they got much going on there. Where in Colorado is it? I'm sorry. I think it's in uh, Denver. Is it is it is this like a high altitude affair? Are you uh, yeah, of course. Are you concerned about the altitude at all? Because I I've seen that that was a big story in Rockhold's last fight when he fought against Costa. I mean, he was like they were gassed at the end of that fight. Are you uh, are you training for that altitude at all? I've been uh, been doing a lot more cardio than even normal, and I do a lot of cardio, and I'm planning on getting there seven nine days early and uh, about yeah. Get acclimated. It, it only takes you about a week to acclimate and to, uh, a, li- a week to seven, nine days to acclimate. So I'll probably get down there about nine days early and get some good workouts and some good runs and just yeah. finish out over there. Yeah, Rockhold's already out there because yeah. you know, he's already – I think he, stayed, he went out there like a week ago. But, we, um, yeah. Man, that's going to be sick, kill shot. Now, everyone's talking about your teammate right now, Nate Diz. He's he announced – everyone knows he's fighting August 5th versus Jake Paul. Um, yeah. How, how do you see that fight going, kill shot? Um, I feel like not to go too far into it. If people seen the level of sparring and the level of pro boxers that Nate's dismantled over the last twelve years, and even in this last year, how many different pros? from everywhere that he trains they go down to san diego la up here anywhere oakland they don't do that good against him at all like he's usually beating all of their asses not to you know right talk any shit on them or whatever because you know you need good sparring but they're not they're not doing very well so so, he's uh eats them up so you, you see him walking through jake ball easily I just I see him battering the shit out of him, you know. I see him like just. I'm gonna say by by the end of round three, I don't think there's gonna be anyone in question on who's gonna win the fight. I don't even think. I think Jake Paul's gonna be like, man, I hope this guy floats me and lets me live for the rest of this fight. You know, what I mean, doesn't doesn't just so keep doing this. You haven't been impressed at all because he just he fought Tommy uh, Fury to a decision. Tommy's a big dude. Um, you Tommy haven't been impressed. Big, strong, but he's yeah. not very like technical. Like, right? He's not. Tommy's not that good. I hear you. So, so you weren't that impressed him him going to decision with a pro boxer? No, really. right. not at all. 
I mean, Jake Paul's been training boxing and fighting boxing for like what six years, five years, four years now, something like, like decently. Like he's probably been training what six years consistently. Probably, probably even less to be honest. Probably less. Probably like four or five. I, but, I think uh, the fight's at one eighty five, right? It's, yeah, one eighty five. Has, has Nate ever fought at that weight? No, no, not quite that heavy. Yeah, but um, Walter won quite a yeah. few times though. Yeah, you, you, but I mean, he's big, man. He's he's the same size as me. And I'm fighting at 185 my whole career. I think you're worrying Jesse here because he's a big Jake Paul fan. No, so. no, no, no. He's joking. I'm not. I'm not. No, this guy. What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with being a Jake Paul fan. I'm not a Jake Paul fan. Oh, okay. He strikes me as a big Jake Paul fan over here. Kill shot. I'm just he's a, a popular f- guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's a popular guy. That, that, he's a popular guy. There's nothing that's wrong. Guy Jesse that's gets all scared. Cap sees he sees me like an Instagram post once or twice. That means there's I'm nothing a fan. wrong with being a Jake Paul fan, bro. Jake Paul's a f- funny. Yeah, guy. No, well, I'm a, you know, I think, I think I hope he has a lot of fans, you know, and he does. I think yeah, that's a, a great fans. thing. I think that's what makes these fights exciting. And then when you whip that guy's ass, you take a good chunk of his fans with you. They're like, oh, man, that guy is, you know, he's raw. Let mm-hmm. me follow him. Let me buy his stuff, too. I'm just saying you get you offended know, when I call you that. Like, don't, don't, you don't got to be offended. If someone called me a Jake Paul fan, I'm not offended. Um, well, don't mislabel me. I'm not okay, a Jake okay, Paul fan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, uh, kill shot. So there's a lot of talk that Nate is going to have a, a, a lot of his team fight on this card. So, so who would you like to box on the August 5th on the Nate Diaz card? Um... Or, I mean, uh, or do you I see yourself that, on that card? Are you are you gonna fight on that card? I'd I'd love to. You know what I mean? That'd be tight. Right. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Joe Riggs was talking a lot of shit lately. You to remember, who? You guys remember? Joe yeah. Riggs? To you or yeah, to? Yeah. No, to uh, uh, Nick and Nate and saying all this and what? I'm like, man, I've been I've been wanting to knock him out for a while. I was hoping to get him for my first fight in BKFC. That's a sick fight, bro. You versus Joe out. Riggs because he's a veteran in the game and. Uh, yeah, but you guys that, are both kind of. I was like, "Well, no, he's fighting here, and he's talking shit." Like, okay, I'll, you know, yeah, I'll fight you. I'll, hey, I'm uh, watching. I'll... If 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 Killshot fights Joe Riggs, that's a fight I'm watching, hundred percent. Yeah, it'd be tight. Yeah, that or I mean, any 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 fight on that card would be yeah. a tight fight. Like, uh, it's gonna be an epic card. And I only say that because you and Joe Riggs are kind of similar. You guys uh, both have tattoos and like rough and tough. Like he's a tough guy. You know what I mean? And like you're a tough guy. Yeah, no, no, he, he's I definitely think, a veteran in the game, and uh, yeah. he's uh, he's had a lot of fights. I just don't, I don't like his antics, really. I think he's like I didn't, a, I didn't know he was talking shit. He's been talking shit lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, pull up his Instagram. Yeah. Oh wow, I don't follow Joe yeah. Riggs. I'm gonna pull it up though. I'm gonna check that out. We got a big Joe Riggs fan over here in the corner. Don't take Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, say, don't label me a Joe Riggs yeah, fan, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, you can't see the research guy. Kill shot. That's all good. But, um. You know, I, he, he earned a few fans, you know. I mean, he had, like, a long-ass run in the UFC. Fought a lot of people. Yeah. No, I was fucking but, with you, though. This guy doesn't even know MMA. The research guy's here to research. He doesn't know MMA. I've never heard of Joe Riggs in my life, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. No. He's a legend in the game, though, Joe Riggs. Yeah. So, well, not a legend, but he's been around a long time. Um, what, what, what's your message to Joe Riggs if he's watching this? Don't be scared, homie. Don't be scared. You'll, 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 you'll box him. Like, you, you, are you yeah, knocking him out? Or? I, I love to box him. Yeah, normal, normal like, uh, standard boxing gloves, the whole thing. Eight rounds, just like Yeah, like, eight rounds. I don't need like, the four-round start-out fight shit. That's, that's weak. I want that full eight. Do you tra- just out of curiosity? Because obviously, bare knuckle boxing has similar rules to, to regular boxing. How do you train differently in terms of? Because every time I watch bare knuckle, I feel like the fights end very early. You just see so so many more doctor stoppages and things like that in bare knuckle. How, how do you train differently for taking that sort of a punch that's not um, that's not coming from a boxing glove? It's not padded. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I mean it's pretty similar to MMA in that sense, you know. Like the way you want to strike in bare knuckle boxing is pretty similar to MMA because if you've ever been hit with an MMA glove on, it's really not shit. It's like, yeah, it's nothing. It's four yeah. ounce glove. That's why a lot of the MMA guys are taking it over. You know, um, you got guys like uh, I mean, look at who's fighting for the belt: Rockhold, Perry, Chad Mendez, Alvarez. Yeah. Um, 
Beck, Rawlings, Ferreira, they all, the, everyone I just mentioned is a, was a pro MMA fighter. Lorenzo Hunt, he was a pro MMA fighter. He's their champ uh, at like 205 or whatever. The heavyweights uh, that are fighting for the belt, Ben Rothwell. Everyone's transitioned to MMA and from that to that because you're used to having that more dangerous, uh, yeah. more dangerous strike. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm excited to see your fight and excited to see who you fight next. You got a very uh, bright future, Nick. And uh, there's always sleepers in the fight game. And uh, I'm definitely not sleeping on you. I think that uh, I think you belong in one championship, UFC, Bellator, any big organization. That I mean, BKFC is huge. So, yeah, BKFC is big now. Like for as fast of a company, I mean, they've only been around what three years. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and they're they're blown up already. They're like they got. You go on even like TikTok or something. There's somebody getting knocked out if you uh, yeah just scroll on there there or Instagram anywhere. They're like they're trending now. Feldman they're, was uh, saying they're, they're expecting like 20 million views or something. It, the uh, unique watchers or something for this fight. So this is going to be the biggest. It's a, it's great exposure. It's a good opportunity. So yeah, uh, no, I'm excited. Yeah. Hey, I, we don't have too much more time here, but Nick, you got a very interesting story. Tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. You're from Northern California, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm uh, born in Stockton, raised in Valley Springs, and then came back and been. Uh, I've been. I've been some places. Yeah. <laughs> you um, know what I mean, you started fighting in what year? 2010. Or? I. Uh, no, no. My very first amateur fight was in 2006, and I was, uh, I think I was in between a freshman and sophomore year of high school, and I had my pro debut in 2009. Oh, wow. And, uh, See what I mean? So, yeah. I know my and MMA, this guy's been a veteran. Uh, a, a pro debut at, in 2009. We're already in 2023. Yeah, yeah. No, I remember. I mean, there's cards, like, uh, out there that uh, some of the guys that – or UFC legends stuff. They were fighting on the same cards with me back then. Right. Um, so, it's, uh, it's been a long road. And, um, you know, you're, you're in BKFC now. You're probably going to be on the Nate Diaz DAZN boxing card. And eventually you want to make your way into the UFC or, uh, UFC Ryzen or one FC. Those, those are the, those are the top three promotions that I'd like to be in. Yeah. Facts. But I also like being in BKFC. I think I think they're tight. I think they treat people cool there too. You know what I mean? Yeah, everyone seems very happy at BKFC. To, yeah. To be honest, all the org I'm not even being a kiss ass. I'm being real. To be honest, every organization seems pretty tight right now. PFL, yeah, no. Bellator. Yeah, everyone, uh everyone that uh wasn't doing the right things, they pretty much got phased out or yeah. on the way. The ones that are left, they're all they're all running it like I would fight in, yeah, e in any of them. Business. Yeah, PFL's on ESPN with crazy walkouts. Like, it looks crazy. Bellator has crazy walkouts there. Anyways. Yeah. What do you think should happen? No, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure a Ryzen has uh, like pride, you know? Ryzen's like the new pride. They have uh, crazy walkouts, too. Yeah, they do, yeah. And, uh, and costumes and shit. You know, Masvidal, yeah, he got, yeah. Masvidal got his, this is sort of a random question, but he got his start in backyard brawling, bare knuckle. Do you think he should, uh, now that he's retired from UFC, do you think he'd do well in bare knuckle, or do you think he should just just go straight into fight promotion? Because I, I feel like he'd do well in bare knuckle. I don't know. He would. Um, I mean, he's a big athletic guy with some decent boxing, but I just don't think, uh, I mean, after, after what he said, after his whole last fight, his whole last training camp, I just really think he's genuinely, like, not interested in fighting anymore. He's like, yeah, you know, I don't feel like I used to feel about these fights. Oh, I'm going to retire if I don't win, you know, then. Yeah. Then I win, and he said, if I did, if, even if I did win, I was going to retire anyways. He's like, I'm just done. So, I, I don't know. He had quite a few fights, too, I think. I think he might actually be done. I think, you know, getting some money and uh, everything, not being hungry no more changes perspective hey, on life. Hey, can I ask you, what's your uh, what's your background, your uh, your heritage? Can I ask? Uh, I'm Norwegian, Yes, Irish, I knew you were Norwegian, bro. I'm Norwegian as well. I knew you were Norwegian. That's why I asked. Yeah. Yeah. I, everyone thinks I'm just really Irish Sorry. because I, got <laughs> I know. I'm not even that Irish. It's like the least thing I am. Oh yeah, no, my family immigrated from uh, from migrated from, immigrated from Norway in like the 1920. 
So that's, I was just curious. So. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. You consider yourself a Viking kill shot? Like you're a. Yeah. Yeah. Modern day. Yeah. I don't, I don't look as much like a Viking as you do. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't got that. Yeah, look. no, because he was, he was they saying. Were, they were farmers too. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. He he was saying earlier before you came on that uh, you look like a Viking. You know what I mean? I think he's a. Yeah, you got the giant short. Oh, nice. Oh, Dude. sick. Oh, did, yeah. Did you watch Vikings? Did you like that show? Yeah, the series. That was great. Yeah, it was um, a good show. Yeah, the guy from, uh, what, what was What's it? What's so uh, funny, Christian? From what? Wasn't uh, uh, the, who played Ragnar on there? Wasn't it the guy from Sons of Anarchy? Oh, yeah, I forget his name. I forget his name. Yeah, I forget his name, too. That guy's yeah. badass, though. Yeah, it was yeah a show. Did, did, I, I, I got show. caught up hey. in a bunch of TikToks of, like, Viking uh, uh, highlights. I got I got caught up in all that shit. I was really into it. I, I You know, I hate butchering people's last names. You know, uh, is it is it Corn Corrine? Coring. Coring. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, people always butcher my last name. You always want to get people's last names correct. Coring. 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 I like. Well, well, Nick oh. Killshot Coring, thank you for joining us. We're super excited. August 29th. You're in there in the bare yeah, knuckle. Thank you for having me, guys. I appreciate you guys. Bare knuckle yeah, cage. And uh, we, yeah. we love you over here. We're, we, if, if you don't mind, we want to talk to you soon. You're a great guest. Yeah. Hey, thank whenever, you. hit me up. Yeah, we just we need to d- jump off right now. But uh, thanks, thanks, bro. Yeah. Right, Let's run that in later. Thanks, Take man. Man, kill shot, kill shot's great, huh? He's great. He's got that Norwegian blood. How could I not love him? Oh, this guy loves kill shot. You got yeah, a bro. crush on kill shot. Listen, thank you, Nick Corrine, for joining us straight from Stockton. That was dope. He has a big fight coming up in Bare Knuckle FC. Yes, sir. Um, and then he wants to make his way up to one championship. Yeah, he's he's down for any one any one of the big three, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him there. Puts on a big good performance. I, I get excited. Exci- I get excited about a lot of people's careers. Like um, Nick Corings is one of them. He has a great record. He, I think he only has one loss. He's a knockout machine. He looks the part too. So uh, we'll see who he fights next. Thank you, thank you, Killshot, for joining us. Tell you something about Andrew. This is my boy right here. You disrespect him, you're disrespecting me. Inside fighting, shout out to inside fighting.